Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So today our topic will be verbs. As you know, in dances we have been regularly using the verbs. Before going into the dances, we know the different sentences that we have been using in different dances, they need different verbs. The verb is a man constant, the element of the tense. The verb is man constant. And verb has got different forms. You have to first fully understand it. What verb is, how many forms of verbs are there. And in this class, I'm going to teach you what verb is, its different forms and its uses. And I'll share with you the example sentences by which which will help you fully understand it. Okay? Yes, sir. You know what's uh, different parts of speech you must have known. Like there's noun, there's pronoun, there's adjective, with there extra noun, as it's a naming word, uh, pronoun is used in Islam. Now what's the word is actually a word of action. So everything, every, uh, throughout the world in the universe, there's action, there's moment. Everything is in the form of action, in the form of moment. We people always do something. So this is action. What somebody do or what somebody does, this is action. So the word which implies it, which shows it, is actually the verb. Verb, as you know, is the word of action, and it has got different forms. How many forms of verb we have? Five. We have five forms, and they are the first form is the man form of the verb. It's known as the base verb, or we call it as the root verb, because it's the man verb. Once you know this verb, you can then extract all the four forms of the verb from it. This is that man, man verb. verb. The base verb. This verb shows you what verb, what the action is about. First of all, we also call it as present form of verb. Then we have second form, this is known as post form of verb. Note this that this post form of verb is separate from past tenses. Past tense and future tense and present tense is something else, but in case of verbs, past form and post postal form and present form of verb is totally entirely different subject, right? Post form. And the third form of verb we call as past forceful form. The fourth form. Uh, actually, there are three main forms of the verb. The first form, the second form, and the third form. First is the basic form, which we call as the base form of the root form, the present form of the verb. Yes, sir. After the first form, you can extract the other two forms, the second form and the two, uh, third form. Then the other two forms, the fourth form and the fifth form, they are easily extracted. They are the expanded forms of the first form. Fourth form. So for fourth form, we call it as present forceful form. Present then? Forceful form. Forceful form, or we call it as continuous form, or we simply call it as in form. In form. Because in the first form of the verb, we have to just add in to the first form. First the last form. form of the verb is as, as form. As form or form. as form. It's also the first, basically, the first form of the verb. Only we have to do, we sometimes need to add as or yes to the first form. First form. Right? Yes, So, sir. give me the example of certain verbs. As you know, the verb is the word of action. Verb is a moment. Give me some, uh, yes? So play. Play is a verb. Because there is action. You give me an example of verb. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep is a verb. It, if it uh, doesn't uh, mean that it's an action, but uh, it it's takes the energy of our body and we have to go through a process and then we sleep. You know, sit is a verb, stand is a verb. Go, come, yeah. read, yes, wash, play, yes, run, Treat, walk, dream, walk, walk drive, play, everything. So these words which have actions in them, which depict some action, they are verbs. Works. But there is an exception I will share with you. There are certain verbs, not too many in number, which do not show any action, but they are still the verbs. They, yes, they are still the verbs. They can have action, but they are verbs. They have their forms. These uh, verbs are known as non-actionable verbs. Are known as non-actionable verbs. They don't have any action, action in them, but they still are verbs. For example, thinking. Think is a verb. Dream. Dream is a verb. No. Possess is a verb. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, there are some, some other verbs which like is a verb, hate is a verb, uh, 
So these verbs are actually verbs, they have their different forms, but they do not have any activity associated with them. They are non actual verbs, but they are very low in number, hardly 0. Point some percent. The rest of the verbs, the nine, more than 99% of the verbs are actual, actual verbs, they have action in them, they are the activities. Right? Yeah. So let's now have some example of the verbs. For example, here it's played. Its second form will be played. played. We have to just add e. Its third e. form will be played. played. Its fourth form will played. be played. We have to only add ing. The fourth here, two things you must have noticed here. The two forms, second and third form, when we make them from the first form, we just added ed in the first two forms. And in the fourth form, we added I and in the fifth form, we added S. S. Right? So the three forms, the two forms, the second and the third form, has some different rule. Fourth and fifth form are common. Any word, whether uh, it's any word, just uh, you have add ing in the fourth form and s in the fifth form. Fifth but form. for many verbs, they have different rules. For some verbs, you can add ed, but for some other verbs, you cannot ed. They have their different forms in pronunciation as well as their formation. So you'll know that later. So drive. Verb. Second form is Verb. Verb. Third form is Verb. Verb. Fourth form will be Verb. 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 Wash is a verb. Wash. Wash it. Wash. Its third form again will be Wash. Its fourth form will be Washing. Its fifth form will be Washing. So these are some verbs. Now let's write here. Let's let me mention here some other forms of verbs. So second and third forms are totally different from these sort of verbs. For example, drive. And drive. drive. Its second form is drove. Drive. Its third form will be driven. Driving. Driving. Drive. 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 Its fifth form definitely will be drives. Drive. So, some other verb whose second and third form is not made by you, then just ed. Come. Come is a verb, right? Its second form is? Can. Third form is again? Come. Fourth form will be? Coming. Comes. For example, we have a verb, right? Its second form is? Written. Wrote. Post form. Written is false sports form. Its third form is written. written. Its fourth form is writing. Writing. Its fifth form is writes. Right. Where we will sing. Sun. Its second form is sang. Its third form is sung. Its fourth form is singing. Sing. 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 Its fourth form sing. is sing. Sing. So we have this group of verbs. But here you definitely would have notes. Two clauses of verbs. The first clause of verb has five forms, as the five forms is for all the verbs. But for first three verbs, you will have noticed that the second and third form is made just by adding e to the first form. The fourth and fifth form is common for all the verbs. From top to the bottom. You have to add ing, just ing in the fourth form, form is also known as present course of norm and in the fifth form you have to add on the S, S or ES yes. to the base form of the verb. So based on this division we have two categories, two groups of verbs. We have two groups of two verbs. verbs. Can I wrap it here? Yes sir. Let me show you now what those two groups of verbs are. Uh, why we need to add ED in the second and third form and why we cannot add ED to the second and third form of verb and why we cannot add all the certain rules by which we can make the second and third form of those verbs or not. What's the rule? So, base, on the basis of this formation, right, we have two categories of verbs. They are the regular verbs. Regular verbs, regular verbs are simply those verbs whose Second and third forms are made or formed 
by adding e e to the first form. As you have many examples, I have written here only three examples. You can have many more examples. You give me some examples of regular verbs. Yes, we have walk, walker, walker, walking walks. Wash, washer, washer, washing, wash. Some more examples from you? Read, read. It's not read, read, read. It is written. The second and third forms of read is written. Sam has read, but it is pronounced read in second and third form. Right? Yes, sir. Clap, clap, clap. Die. Die, die, die. die. Walk, 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 walk is again the same example. Play, play, play is the same example. Lock. Lock. Ah, yes, lock, lock, and lock. And. Smash, smash, and smash. It. Trash, trash, and trash. It. Nail, nail, nail. Finish, finish, and finish. It. Trash, trash. Trash, trash, and trash. Crash, crash, and crash. It. Crash, crash, and crash. It. Scratch, scratch, and scratch. It. So there are a lot of variety of verbs. Where the verb itself shows, it itself sounds, it says from itself within it that this verb must be a regular verb and its second and third form is only made by adding e. Yeah. By adding e. Right? Yes, and sir. And fourth and fifth form is common for all the verbs because in fourth form you just need to add ing and in the fifth form you need to add s and es. Yeah. Somewhere as or somewhere es. Right? So these all verbs where you have to do nothing, they are plan verbs. Cool and calm. You just go on. Uh, these are called the regular rules because for regular activity or any regular process, there is no up and down. That is plan. So for regular verbs, it's plan. Just read, just read, I and get as. These are regular verbs. But for a, another set of verbs is there, which is known as irregular, irregular verbs. verbs. Must be opposite to them, right? Those verbs, irregular verbs, or those verbs whose second and third forms are not made by just adding ed to their first form, but they are different in formation and pronunciation. These are irregular verbs. They are totally other than opposite to regular verbs. Means in these verbs, in the second and third form, you cannot add ed. And one thing important, I will alert you here from a mistake that when you keep on, when you go on making the different forms of verbs, you then add ed and ed. These verbs themselves say, within from the verbs, you can know that these verbs do not need just ed in their second and third form. There must be some different word which pronounces different, which sounds is different, which can be their second and third form. But you cannot know it yourself what the second and third form is. Neither is there any set rule for the regular verbs to make their second and third forms, nor they can be made by the above rule, by the above mentioned rule. Only way to know about the irregular verbs is that you have to memorize them fully. You have to correctly memorize. memorize them and remember them forever if you want to use them in your English, your speaking English, your writing English, whatsoever you need, right? Yes, so, so look at our examples of the irregular verbs like dream, dream, dream. <coughs> Dreaming and dreams, the fourth and fifth form are the common for the regular verbs as well as the irregular verbs and all of the verbs, right? Yes, sir. Drive, draw, driven, teach, eat, 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 teach, talk, talk, teaching, teach, think, thought, think, thought, thought, thinking, thinks, think, sing, sang, sun, singing, suns, swim, swam, swam, swimming, swim, swing. Swing, 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 right, swinging, swing, uh, swing, 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 
So these are all individual verbs. I have only shown you the examples. One more thing I want to show you yet. The last form of the verbs is sent for all the regular and the irregular verbs. Only thing you need is to add S or ES. Why you need to add S and why you need to S at ES is a simple case. You need to add S to all the verbs. To so all the verbs. Ending with any letter. Only verbs ending with the letters. Verbs ending with letters. O, CH, and SH. You need there to add ES. For example, you have verb go. When you make S form, it is goes. Right? You have verb do. You make it pause for this does. You have verb crush. Here the lost letter is SH. It becomes crush. Crush. ES is added. Right? You have smash. You can make a verb smash. The last letter should be O as such of CH. Does it have these three types of letters at the last? The verb which you just spoke. Except, except has T at the last. But the verb itself should be having without S the lost letter as O, as set or CH. Yes, sir. You have many verbs. Teach, yes. Teach is a verb. Good example. Crush a verb, crash a verb. Teach. Teach a verb, the lost letters are CH. You can break its lost form, it becomes teach. You add ES. All other verbs, you check it yourself. All other verbs, other than these three types of verbs, where the lost letters are O, C, H, and S, it only has to be is your question. You want to say something? No, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. So, that's all about verbs. Actually, we needed these verbs to fully understand it. It will be helpful for you then to use them in different sentences. We were yesterday studying tenses. And in tenses, we again needed to use Verbs. In a sentence, we can use a single verb or two verbs or more verbs than that. And in different sentences, we use helping verbs as well as we use the man verbs. I have shown you the difference between the helping verb and the man verb. So, we cannot anymore carry on this class. So, this was only about the verb, regular verbs and the irregular verbs. Yes. In the end of the class, tomorrow, inshallah, I will show you the difference between the man verbs and the Helping verbs, which are actually the auxiliary verbs, and there is another division between the primary auxiliary verbs and the modal auxiliaries. So, what they are and why they ought to be used in which sentences, by which you can understand it. So, that was all for today. Hope you would have enjoyed the lecture. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.